These are the five things, guys, that I wish I knew when I started playing some resort. These are five tips I want to give you. So it's, they're going to save you so much time. They're going to help you progress faster. And uh, they're just going to speed up your progress so much. Um, if you have questions, as always, you can always ask in the comment below. Uh, but I hope this helps. And uh, I hope this actually really well. And I hope this helps, guys, with your progress. Now, I'm going to start with the first one straight away. And it's going to be build units that actually help your progress. Or that help you speed up your progress. There's so many units that can actually help you. And uh, um, a pretty good tip I can give you is just focus on giant team uh, as you start off. Try to make a giant team. And now the giant has the same element throughout all the stages. So B1 to AB's is AB's hard hard is all water so you can build the same team for all the stages it used to be different element so you might have had some troubles in the beginning but now it's all water so you can build the same team for every single stage I can show you my team and you should focus just on these units really and on TOA unit uh, my team Oh, I can't show you because of that, but I'm going to stop this right now. Um, but my team is basically almost free to play. There's just Savannah that is not, but all of them, all of the units are free to play. And as I, as I was saying, you need to focus on Giant team and on TOA team in the very beginning. Now, I don't want to say you shouldn't focus on Dragon, but Dragon is more of a PvP kind of dungeon. Dragon is going to help you a lot in Siege um, and in RTA. In uh, Arena uh, Swift is going to be the most important set you can have, and this pair is going to obviously help in TOA. If you farm Giant, you can farm until like B10, B9, whatever you get at, then you get better runes, and they're going to help you in Giant. You do not need violent runes in Giant at all, especially because AB is now revenges AoE. So you really don't want violent units in Giant because the boss is just gonna delete your whole team um but yeah Veramos, classic stuff i'm using savannah uh, she's the only non free to play unit i have in giant but i'm using um galleon i'm using akamamir Veramos, savannah and lean lean is not free to play you can use crow to a crow uh lean is not free to play but it's a free start so you could get her from ld's uh, but either way you can build so many different teams for giant and uh, yeah, I mean, in the beginning, it's going to be hard to do ABs, but at least try to get to B10 and then just keep on farming. Just get Swift Runes, Dispel Runes, or any rune really that can help you progress. Um, sometimes this is good to actually um, grind or like plus 12, plus 6 or whatever, like just plus 3 first and see if things are rolling on speed, just keep them. Even if they're flat slow, 4 or 6, that really helps. That's my team. Uh, you don't have Savannah, you can use other stuff that are AoE um, free to play. But if you get Savannah, build that. Now, this um, get me to a point, one point I want to mention. If you get Zibala in the very early game, if you get a very good LD, uh, sorry, not fives, even LD not fives, they won't be helping you because they are support units, because they are um, RTA units and so on. They're not going to help you. So as you have limited resources, don't six star them. Keep them in storage for now. Focus on your progress in Giant, TOA, and then eventually in Dragon. And keep them in storage. Don't waste devil moments on them for now. Zibala is an insane unit. It's not going to help you at all in the very early game. So keep that in mind. Now, number two, spend the crystals just for farming. Farming is the most important thing in the game. You can get so many units, sure, you can get as many units as you want, and then you can't, you, you cannot build them, you can not ruin them, you cannot give them artifacts. Spend your crystals on farming. That's all I spend the crystals on. There was a period where I was doing shop refreshes, don't do it. Um, these packs are not good. Um, premium packs, don't do it. You're gonna get scrolls from farming anyway, so you don't really need to do any of that. Uh, just farm. Make sure you farm with crystals, especially if you're free to play. You need runes. Yes, every meta unit really, really helps, 
but if you don't have meta units you can come up with a different team you can come up with a different idea in rta there is free to play units that you can use in rta there is um these units the support units you can use in rta especially early game they probably built decently well so you can use them in rta so focus uh, on farming use the crystals just for farming number three tip is gonna be just do arena and max your towers super important towers guys in are arena towers really are important especially because they increase your stats everywhere in the game they increase your stats in giant i mean this is not even <laughs> what i wanted to show you but like the sky tribe totem speed plus 15 percent it works in uh, giant it works in dragon it works in any dungeon it works in siege it works in arena in rta everywhere so make sure you do arena put one man defense if you have to use your wings at all time buy these statues these uh, towers max them pretty much all dark light maybe i'm not the most important one so you can leave them for last but like speed hp defense those ones are the most attack those are the most important ones so max them um they are really gonna help you especially in dungeons in the early game really important don't buy screws in the beginning it's not gonna help you yes again it can help you with the summoning units but if you summon a good uh not five there's a support unit it's a rta unit it's just gonna slow down your progress so make sure you max your statues so many times people ask me oh i have this team i have similar stats as yours why is it not working in giant and then they start them the towers are like plus three plus four some of them are not even uh built yet not even plus one so <laughs> just do them guys they're really really important number five number four uh tip would be don't build too many two a's as in don't build two rogues don't build three icarus don't build double two a's you can't use them anymore in dungeons unless you do b10 you shouldn't you should do a b hard because um drop plays a little bit higher but also you can get intangible runes which are really really strong i haven't gotten one yet they're really rare but there is a chance you can get them uh i did get triple roll on speed by roll 19 so uh, <laughs> i would say that's not even the greatest but you still have a chance so make sure make sure you don't build two ways too many two ways you can build big, i guess eventually you're gonna build more than one two way bigger you're gonna might build actually more than one two way lulu for siege but in the early game you're not gonna do siege at that level you don't need two vigors you don't need three lulus you don't need you don't need any of that so build what you need even um, the melia team doesn't even work anymore so you don't need two melias in giant you can't use double of the same unit in abyss stages don't do it it's a waste of ancient energy it comes by really really rarely he actually you get one every two hours so it's very rare it's very uh, hard to get so don't waste it on two icarus you don't need more than one icarus at all so make sure you do that and last tips is just take advantage of free stuff uh, this event at all time in summer's world make sure you do them you get free crystals you get free scrolls uh, you get free anything really you get some reups you get some devil moons you get LDs and so on make sure you keep an eye on the event really important be uh, active do your uh, guild stuff I mean obviously if you're just starting it's gonna be easier for you to do guild wars it's gonna be pretty much the same level you're gonna fight against so do that it's pretty important you get guild points you can buy stuff you can do the siege towers as well it's gonna help you in siege and then you can start buying scrolls so guys that's gonna be it uh let me know if you have any question but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you on the next one bye bye everybody take care guys Stay safe bye